Hello folks. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, redundancy, which is uh, required so that we don't lose our data in case uh, of any disaster. Now, in order to do that, we need to set the replication, uh, which we need uh, actually, which we did initially when setting up the storage. So let's revisit that. Let's click on all resources. And then uh, ML storage. ML storage AC, in fact. And let's click on configuration here. So here we can see, uh, okay. So there are three options, locally redundant storage, geo redundant storage, and read access geo redundant storage right and uh, obviously uh, there is some cost associated with all all these three uh, um, replications so as we need uh, uh, you know so basically the cost is based upon the bandwidth associated with all these three so we can say that uh, you know uh, grs is more costlier than lrs or geo redundant uh, storage is more costlier than um, locally redundant storage. Okay, so uh, as we discussed earlier, L LRS keeps three copies of data in data center, right? And this is the cheapest option. Uh, and if you successfully write your data in LRS, then Microsoft will keep uh, that data uh, so that chances of losing your data uh, is nil. Uh, so it the durability is uh, in terms of 11 nines basically so 99.9999999999999 uh, okay so 11 nine uh, durability it gives so uh, as i told you earlier this is the cheapest option and if you successfully write your data in lrs then microsoft will keep that data uh, so the chances of losing your data is nil, but the drawback associated with this type of replication is that if you, if your entire data center goes down, then you won't be able to access your data until the data center is restored. Okay. So to cater this issue, uh, we can use zone redundance, uh, redundant storage by using PowerShell. Okay. So through using command line interface or to writing some scripts. So by using PowerShell, the data is stored into multiple data centers. So if uh, one data center goes down, then you would be able to access your data from another data center. Okay. In case of uh, geo redundant uh, storage, your data copies uh, into another region or part of the world. So let's say uh, due to any natural disaster, your entire West US region goes down. So in that scenario, you can still have access of your data from central US region. So it in, in this scenario, uh, there are additional three copies which are made in another uh, region, which is, uh, let us say, in this scenario, I told you, central US region. Durability in this case is 169, 16169s. So more protection of your data okay, is provided through this option. And uh, in case of uh, read access geo redundant storage, uh, uh, you can actually uh, you can read data from other region or location. That is, with other replications, Microsoft Azure by default takes care of it as you read from your storage account, and Azure takes care of accessibility with read access uh, accessing data from uh, primarily or uh, primary or secondary region but in ra read access grs you are given control or have that facility to read specifically from other region okay so durability also in this case is 169 so, so it is also a more secure option right so guys uh, this is it uh, about uh, you know uh, the replication uh, which i wanted to cover uh, i will be covering uh, next topics in the upcoming video so keep on watching and if you like this video then please uh, hit the like button share the video as well as subscribe for the channel thank you